another classic Terminators matchup. I'm your host, Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the Terminators versus the Hammerheads. Live from Planet Lace Delta in beautiful Delta, British Columbia, this is Beer League Hockey. With me, classic co-host, Sean Simonson. Hello and welcome back to another installment of Terminators Hockey. Tonight they're playing the Hammerheads and their goaltender is McCall. And he's going to be in between the pipes wearing that beautiful Nordique looking jersey that he has got on there as he whiffs on his attempt to score. <laughs> and at the other end, for the Terminators, guess who's in net? for him again it's AJ I'm, yet again I'm not even surprised at this point AJ is uh, he's picked up his pants and he's showing up to games and I mean I'm happy for that Simonson the goaltender for the Hammerheads is actually wearing the more drinks jersey I don't know if you remember once upon a time in the Selly days we seen that team in the Langley twin rinks at ASHL uh, more drinks uh, well I might have uh, had a little stint with that team before where I played against them but that's for a different day oh my goodness <laughs> right off of the bat what just happened we can't even finish the introduction and the Hammerheads come out and absolutely rip a rocket past AJ AJ, number 14, Patrick Carran. Yeah, Carran, oh, you recently, or used to be a white gloves is what we used to call him, but then he switched it up, and it looks like he's still got the action as he winds up with a huge clapper that just goes right upstairs where all the action is. Oh, man, a lot of action on bet. Three, six, five, Simonson. Everyone's putting in their uh, bets. One to nothing. The Hammerheads over the Terminator so far. And if you're a betting man, I'd probably bet on the Hammerheads in this game. Just judging by that first goal right off of the bat. One for one they are, it looks like the Hammerheads are for shots and goals. Here's Simonson flying down. Dishes off to Olsen. The Eagle fires one at the net. There's a oh. save. And there's Slim whacking away doing what he does best in the front of the net and we gotta give props to number 13's beard there I don't know I don't think number 13's on the roster if that's his name um, I don't know a little bit of a roster mishap here at Planet Ice Delta plays to continue on though Pope has that puck fires it all the way to the far side Dust Pandana is trying to get it out and some stuff going on here between Big Keith and number 7 Bruce but uh, the referee, I think, is going to let it go. All right, here we go. Back in the action. Olsen the Eagle has that puck, pushes it into the zone of the Hammerheads. Olsen the Eagle makes a move to get around one player, curling around the net of a call, throws it up front, and Dust Pat Dennis gets a goal, shaking off of the dust and revealing that he's really Diamond Dennis when he's on one. Holy smokes, this is exciting. So check it out. I love watching this kid. Matt Olsen, number 92, flies down so gracefully. And then there's the, the Hammerheads player acting like a snowplow. And then there, look at the eyes on the eagle. He sees Dustpan Dennis there, allows him to sweep that up. Did he have a Swiffer? We don't know, but he got the job done and he buried that nugget and we don't see the dust really score a lot of goals this season so i'm a fan simonson i like it one to one it's all tied up with 12 minutes left to go in the first period here we go right off of the face off number 21 Don Frio uh, gives up the puck. It lines on the Terminator stick. Big Papa Pope has it in his own zone. Big Papa Pope curling around the neutral zone. Feeds it over to Calvin the Cat wearing the Schwarzenegger jersey. On the near side, lets it go. And oh my goodness, number 23 for the Terminators. Yanni Akolov gets a beautiful goal right there, Simonson. Who well, is this kid? Yeah, that's exactly what I was wondering as I was looking at the red bucket on this guy at the faceoff. And I'm like, I don't even know who he is. But I think I do now. But here, let's take a look. There's Pope. Gives it up to Calvin, Calvin the, cat. the Cat, the Cat Man, and he throws it out. Big rebound and goes right onto the tape of Yanni, and he puts that into the back of the net and tickles the twine. That was a really nice goal, Simonson. I can say the same thing about his bucket. I wish Dusty Despan Dennis was wearing his blue bucket because uh, we'd have fire and ice out there for the Terminators. 2-1, to one, the Terminators over the hammerhead so far with 11 minutes left to go in the first period. Personally, I hate the different colored buckets. It looks tacky, but that's <laughs> just me. Anyway. There's the shot well over the net, and now it's uh, collected by the Terminators. Yanni up to Brock, but he lets it go for a cat man, and he comes down wearing number seven today. He's trying to get to the front of the net, and he can't do it. He, he still has the puck, battling off two hammerhead sharks. Ooh, scary. And then go back to Brock, <laughs> and then uh, back down to the cat. Brock walks it in back at Yanni. He's trying to stuff it, but he can't. And then it's Brock again. It's all Terminators here right now. Throws it in.
it in front, and it's a scramble, like scrambled eggs. And it's to the Hammerheads, and they have it, and they exit the Terminator Zone. Right back into the Terminator Zone, number 14, Patrick Carr, and Patrick Carr throws it toward the net and sneaks that one behind AJ. A five-hole goal, a weak goal. AJ's going to want that one back. Patrick Carr just got his second goal of the game, I believe, here, Simonson, and we're going to run it back. 27, uh, McCann fed it to Karin. Watch this. Karin making moves. Let's it go. Oh, there it is. We didn't see it in real-time motion, but that was actually tipped by Pickup, so that wasn't a weak goal let in by AJ. It fooled him because Pickup changed the direction of the puck when his stick landed on it, psyching out the goalie, going behind the net. Terrible, terrible. Well, Pickup be better. Okay, so the play continues on. Now here's Pickup's ch chance to redeem himself, but he leaves it for Big Ben. Oh, hey, Big I ben. got your hat at my house. Anyways, um, <laughs> it's, the Terminators can't get out of their own zone. It's number seven, uh, Bruce for the Bruce, Hammerheads. Bruce, there it is! And Bruce, there it wasn't because AJ shut the door on that one. Brock Richardson, cock, he fights off stick checks. No problem because he's just one stick and he fires that up and over the net. Comes around, Dustpan couldn't hold on to it. It's Pope who fakes a clapper, gives it to Dustpan. Oh. Dustpan whiffs on that or, you know, but anyways, it's now slowed down and there's no flow going to this no, game. No, none. And it's tough to call a game where there's no flow. As Dustpan picks it up, has a nice shot. Nice save by McCall. Big Ben collecting that. Behind the net of McCall, Big Ben curling around, throws it out front. Nice defensive work by number nine. Big Ben does it again and again. Nice defensive work as the Hammerheads tip that puck all the way deep into the Terminator zone. Big Keith going to collect it as well as Pope. Uh, big uh, <laughs> Keith left it for Pope. There you go. Uh, big Papa Pope, Big Keith. That's a tongue twister, Simonson. Sure as they is. throw it out, intercepted by 27. McCann dumps it all the way back down. Uh, number 14, Karin has it. Karin feeds it over to number 10. Wellman who has a shot. AJ makes the first save and covers it up. Doesn't want anything left else to happen we've got a tripping call here it looks like yeah okay i didn't see what happened by there number 10 there well man he takes a oh, shot yeah. there keith and he went keith. hacksaw jim duggan on him keith he's a real I, I don't know if i'm allowed to say this but he's a real oh an instigator we'll leave it at that simon yeah Simonson. that's right you Simonson. know somebody that causes dog poop <laughs> yeah. and he does as the number 10 wellman Feeds it over to Karin. Karin spinning around. Fires it cross ice to 27. Who has a shot at McCann? Got robbed by AJ. So AJ's actually playing all right, Simonson. Yeah, he definitely is. And that's what the Terminators need right now because the Hammerheads are applying pressure. That one was going a little bit wide. But you know what? I'm glad that AJ goes and tracks that puck and holds on to it. Gets another whistle. Gives the Terminators a chance. Just like Olsen is going in. He's finding open ice. He makes moves. He tries to flip that one into oh, the back man. of the net. But McCall had his number all day. Yeah. That was a weak flip. Uh, Eagle wins a faceoff. Oh, Oppo was going for a shot, but it looks like Dusty, or is that Kelvin who got in there? I don't know. One or the other. Regardless, Eagle has it. Eagle fires it over to Dustpan. Dustpan just out of his reach. Collects that puck. Fires it on net. And the puck gets snagged by McCall. Dropped down, though. Continuing play. Eagle battle in 71. Hancock. Eagle has it. Fires it towards it. Oh, Dustpan is swinging the miss, Simonson. Live it up to that name. Dustpan Dennis. Uh, he may be Dusty, but he does sweep it up from time to time, and I like seeing that. But here we are, the icing call, the faceoff is in the hammerhead zone. And it, they win the draw. Now they advance out through the neutral zone, into the Terminator zone. A nice little hook pass to nobody. Dustpan gets that one to Eagle. Now it is pickup backwards skating. Goes for a fake clapper over to Big Ben. Swings oh, it, and man. it's in the legs of McCall. And Eagle's there trying to throw it in front, but he can't. Puck comes over onto the near side at the hash marks. And it's thrown up into the neutral zone onto Caron Stick. And now he's going to make a move. looking for a hattie, but he sends it to oh. his player up front. Number four, and he couldn't bury the hatchet when he needed to. And that's the end of the first period, ending off with a fantastic save from AJ. Two to two. It's all tied up here in a very thrilling game right now. It's very even as uh, back in the action we go, Simonson. Pope has that puck for the Terminators in his own zone, skating around, fires it cross ice. Big Keith can't handle it, lands on McCann stick. McCann feeding it down low. Uh, Karin has it. Karin throws it towards the net just out of reach of Wellman. Wellman going to collect it right back to the point. Number five. Wood lets it go. 27. Couldn't get the tip on it as the puck ricochets all the way to the far side. The cat makes a move to psych out one of the hammerheads but he's getting chased by McCann. Uh, the cat gets bodied and throws one back. Referee's arm goes up as the cat he takes a shoulder from Karin and uh, gives a little shove of his own. You can see that he's he's not happy, Simon. He's letting them get underneath the skin. No, yeah, exactly. Look, there's There goes Catman doing his things, making little moves like you know how cats do 
do. They're so nimble and that. They're shifty and whatnot. But this guy is getting aggressive and he's hitting the cat. You know what happens when you hit a cat? You get the claws. Yeah, you do. And you get the meows too. The meow. Um, and the cats, I mean, he's got to get a little more composed because he plays a feisty game and he does little shots. I don't want to say cheap shots, but I'm going to say he does little cheap shots. So I just said it. So if he's going to give him out, he's got to be able to take him and not lose control like he just did. Absolutely. And they're, and there's look at they're both so out of control <laughs> and so devastated from the, the action that had just happened there where they're in the wrong boxes. But yes, he needs to be able to just control himself a little bit and then he'd be a much better hockey player. But other than that, we love him. You know, pick up, loses the puck at his own, or sorry, at the offensive blue line and now it's taken in. Backhand, oh! beautiful save by AJ. Bruce with the backhand, couldn't get it up. Bruce, it's not there. It's no, still not there, Simonson. He's waiting for the chat. He just can't get it. As the Eagle picks up the puck in the neutral zone, going for a skate. Gains his to the hammerheads, the eagle making moves, cut to the far side, has a shot, hits the number nine, Zalmlak, as the puck goes over to the near side boards. Uh, Pope picks it up from the point, Pope firing, it's just out of the reach of the eagle, and Dustpan has it, Dustpan walking away to Polk up front, and Big Ben tips it in! What a goal by the Terminators! Perfect positioning by Big Ben to get that goal, a little bit of garbage, Simonson, and I don't mind the garbage cleanup every once in a while, at least once a week, you need that garbage truck to come along to keep the house clean. Terminators are not a finesse team so you have to smash and whack in, in order to get the pucks in that means you have to work harder and that's what they did there Pope throws it to dustpan barely collects it but then he throws it at the net a couple times it squirts out off the skate there of number nine Zellmlack and then who gets it Big Ben yeah Big Ben just shuffled that in Unfortunate for the Hammerheads, if you're a Hammerheads fan, number nine, Zemlock. It went off of, I think, the inside of a skate, or was it the outside? Either way, it went right to Big Ben, who was sitting back door. It was just one of those things where he was in the wrong place at the right time. Three to two, the Terminators over the Hammerheads so far as the Hammerheads come streaking in. Fire shot goes wide, number 27, McCann has it curling around a wraparound. Uh, Karin picks it right back up. Karin getting pressured by Yanni. Yanni turns around, no effort there by Yanni. Uh, Karin on the near side boards. Getting away from the Eagle, fires it right back down low. Good battle going and Pickup doesn't like what he see with number 10, Wellman. Gives him a cross check. Might have gone undetected as uh, McCann picks it right back up for the Hammerheads. Fires it up to the point. The point, point to point. Right to number 13, uh, Birdhang. Uh, there's no name on the roster, so he's Birdhang with that beard, Simonson. Birdhang. Wow, that's <laughs> It's neat. a nest. It's a nesty beard. <laughs> that's neat. Here, Upple's getting a little feisty. He's going uh, after the artist formerly known as White Gloves, and he doesn't like what's happening. <laughs> happening there because he's he, and you know what you got to give it to Karen there um, he got a he's a feisty player and he's always in the in the mix and Upple you, you're not in shape yet you know what uh, you got to give it to Karen he's a player that we love to hate only because we play against him he's someone he's someone like uh, Brad Marchand you know if he was on your team you love him oh but he's got one you, of those faces you want to just hit uh, but if he was on your team you wouldn't be saying that and that's, that's the right. Terminator score again that's right, but yes, back to what you were saying. Yes, you want to hit him when he's not on your team, but you don't want to. But anyways, that's back all the about goal. the Terminators. Let's take a look at the replay. Let's Here do it. he is. Big face-off win back to uh, pick up there. He takes a second, fires one, a nice little low wrister, Was and it a goes, and I think it went off of... Um, oh, their player. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You can see Simonson down there pointing to pick up, saying that's your goal because uh, he knows that he would uh, if he touched it or not. And Simonson's not one to, to steal points away like Coach used to or Cody used to. He's pretty uh, honest with his points. No, and Simonson isn't one to score these days either, but whatever. That too. So let's continue. Hey, speaking of that guy, Simonson, smiley, he's got the puck. He's trying to get it around, but he got uh, checked, and now the puck has been flipped back into the Terminator zone. Big Papa Pope has it. He takes a second, decides what to do with it, throws it up to Big Ben, number 68 today, and gives it to Dustpan oh! with a beautiful snipe. Dustpan Dennis gets his second goal of the game. Simonson, I am convinced he is transformed from, from a dust to a diamond here tonight. Uh, he's gonna, he shook off that name. I'm sure it'll come back next game, but for now it's here as Big Ben feeds it right over to Diamond Dennis. Diamond Dennis all alone, what a bullet. He goes blocker side. I think he went between the hole between his blocker and his abdominal. And uh, I mean, he fired a rocket, Simonson. He was sparkling, he's sparkling out there tonight. Yes, absolutely. You know what, that was an 
a goal scorer's goal right there. You know what? Like, that was beautifully placed. That's exactly where you need to put it, about, like, 18 inches up and right through that sweet spot. Five to two. The Terminator's over the hammerhead so far as Eagle gains his own of the hammerheads. Eagle lets it go, and McCall snags it. McCall's been playing great, but he's had a couple, uh... I mean, I mean, I mean, it's hard to make every single save, and the Terminators are, are looking really good out there tonight. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Hammerheads only have one player, basically, and that's number 14 playing for them. So, you know, the Terminators are just firing on all cylinders right now, and their, their, their pickups, like, or sorry, their call-ups, including pickup, are all working hard, and they're keeping the glue together. Yeah, and the, uh, the pickups are, unlike other teams that we've seen in the league, their pickups are usually pretty house-esque, Simon, so they don't like to bring a lot of, uh, you know, higher caliber players. The Terminators like to keep it the same uh, skill level as themselves, which is basically house level, and uh, I don't know if it's possible to go anything below house. Uh, back in the action, though, the Hammerheads just out of the reach of the Pointman, fires the puck all the way back down, but it's not going to be icing because it was their own player who dumped it down. McCall fires it over to the far side boards. The Hammerheads get it out of their zone, pick up their intertwined with Karin, doesn't like him. Oh, there's some stuff going on here, Simonson. There's a whistle on the play as they stare each other in the face. Big Ben getting there to give him a push, and uh, I mean, that's all it is, really. Uh, that's the end of the second period. They're just going to... Let it play out. Yeah, but Big Ben, God, be careful. It looks like he's getting a penalty because oh, the third man. extra man in. Yeah. That is what I was going to say there yeah. during that little exchange. He has to be careful. And now it looks like the Terminators are going to be a man short for the next start of the third period here. Five to two, the Terminators over the Hammerheads going into the third period, and here we are in the third period as Pickup has a puck behind the net of AJ. Pickup skating around the far side boards, trying to dish it off to someone, but number 33, the spare player, threw a little bit of a cheap shot there. Um, we got two red buckets, and I see the North Delta pass. Looks like maybe Yanni and that player is a, a rep player. Yeah, who knows, who knows, but here's Upple. Yeah, taking the puck and skating Clearly in. not a rep player's apple. <laughs> Absolutely not, but he makes moves. He gives it to Olsen. I would too if I had the puck. And back to Yanni. Winds up, takes a clapper, and that's saved. But the rebound spits out over on the near side. Here it is. It's pickup that goes to collect the puck as it rolls all the way down into the Terminator zone. 13 and a half minutes left to go in the third. Pickup fires it up to Brock the Cock, but he can't retrieve the pass. It's turned around. Back by the hand. Hammerheads, but now Yanni steals it, and he goes in, he's on his forehand, nice little pass attempt to Dennis, but he couldn't see it coming, Dennis has it to Brock, Brock takes a shot, oh. nice save by McCall, nice save by McCall, oh, Hammerheads lost in edges, Yanni had a deflection, goes wide, Wood goes to collect it for the Hammerheads, Wood fires it up to the half board, just out of the reach of uh, a player, here we go, the Hammerheads fire it over to number 19. Low, low lets it go. And AJ gets that glove low to Rob Low and gets the whistle as Pope turns it right back around for the Terminators. Gains his own to the Hammerheads. Pope on the far side getting pressured. Uh, drives towards the net. Brock going to collect that uh, puck on the far side. Brock feeds it. Was looking for Dennis on the point, but he got robbed by Karin. Karin got tripped up by Dustpan Dennis. Still has the puck, though, uh, on the far side. Karin goes around. Big Keith having a skate, curling around. Throws it right off front. In tight. The Hammerheads have one shot, two shot. And do they get it in? No, they don't. But AJ is not happy as he's throwing fists right now, it looks like, as well as Dustpan Dennis is in the mix. Holy smokes. Wow, there is a lot of action that has just unfolded here right before our eyes. So the Terminators are running away with this as of right now, 5-2. to two. So there you go. The Hammerheads, they oh, have it. And man. there's a little bit of a toe pick there by Dennis on... Uh, on Karen, Karen, yeah. Karen there, and then Karen comes in. He's looking, he throws it out front once he goes behind the net, and it's for an easy tap in, but it never makes it. There's one whack, two whacks, three whacks, then AJ goes to cover it. He didn't the like that. Goes, and he, AJ did not like that at all, as you can see as he reacts. And I almost think Dennis is trying to just pull the guy away just to say, hey, you don't want to deal with his blocker. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, but lucky for AJ, he never threw the blocker. Uh, I mean, this guy's playing a lot of hockey. He knows as a goalie you don't throw the blocker. He was given a upward shove, it looks like, with both hands. Um, so, I mean, that's all fair. He can get a penalty, but he can't get kicked out for that. As number 27, McCann's going to go sit in the box. Dustpan's probably going to take one for that trip in the beginning. And I'm guessing that Simonson will take one uh, for his goaltender. Oh, that's what a team captain does. Takes a seat when he needs to to help the team. 
Yeah, I would say so indeed. Back in the action we go. Karin has that puck on the far side for the Hammerheads. Karin feeds it over to the point. Number four, Ports. Ports spins around and fires it down low. Bruce going to collect it. Upple gets there first and fires it all the way around to the far side, but it's kept in by Birdhang. And uh, where is that puck? I don't know. Upple's going at it with number seven. Bruce doesn't like what's going on here, and this game is starting to get feisty. Yep, Upple has been particularly feisty this game, though, that I've noticed. And I think maybe it's because he hasn't been out enough and, you know, he's just letting loose a little bit. And as you see, he goes at it with Bruce there and just he's exchanging a few words. And then Karin comes in and he's like, you know what? We don't need to do this here. You're already beating us on the board. Why do you got to beat us on the ice physically? Yeah, and I don't know, man. Upple's, uh, I don't know what's up with him. I mean, I didn't think he was juicing it anymore, so he shouldn't be roid raging. Shouldn't uh, be. No, uh, Maybe it's that leftover from 20 years ago and he was actually in shape. Now it's just uh, out of shape, fat, you know. And there's a goal, Simonson! The hammerhead score as we're just putting down Apple. And that is all Apple's fault for taking that penalty. Enough about Apple. Let's see what happened here. So it was a face-off loss by the Terminators. And now number 33, Spare, goes and throws it at the net. And then AJ catches a piece of it, but not enough to deflect it out of the net. But it goes into the net. And you know what? Now we got a 5-3 to three game. Game. Yeah, that's tough, man. Terminators didn't want to give that up. If you're a Terminators fan, it makes it one step closer for the Hammerheads to tie it up. Five to three, the Terminators over the Hammerheads so far. We got 10 minutes left in the game. Let's see what the Hammerheads can do. The two goal lead is known to be the worst lead to have in hockey because it builds momentum for the other team and the momentum slowly building as Spare has it. They're working it around in the Terminator zone. Here we are with number 71. Se 71. Right to oh. 10. Up and over. That one almost went to the back of the net as Spare's in a battle with Pope right now. Pope doesn't have a stick, but he's somehow making moves. Nice footwork by Pope to take away that uh, puck. Uh, the puck goes right on the wraparound. Karin trying to jam it in and Pickup gives him a little shove. AJ again with a glove shove to the face. I don't know if Karin uh, was pushing that puck or trying to whack away at it again and hitting his glove. We're going to have to have a look at it. Now let's slow this down and let's zoom it in. Here's Karin. He goes right there. He's whacking away at it. Now where is the... Um... He didn't give any extra shove so I don't know why? AJ's feisty too. I don't know what it is. It's the Brown Boys tonight, time. It's a, there's something in the water, I think, but like AJ is not taking any guff from anybody whacking at him but, in but the But there pads. was no wax there. Uh, maybe that was he's he not doesn't over want the none path. of it. He doesn't want anybody in his business. Yeah, fair enough. End I, of story. I don't know what is what is going on. Uh, anyways, back to the action. Spare has that puck for the hammerhead. Spare throws it towards the net. AJ makes the first save. Karn goes to collect it. Karn feeds it over to number 10. Hunt, hunt, hunting for a goal. Puck gets out, but it's still held in by Number five, Wood. Wood got some wood on that on the far side. Right to Spare. Spare has that puck. Throws it towards the net. Wide over to the near side. Number 71, Hancock collects it. Hancock feeds it over to uh, a Hammerheads player. Hancock gets that puck right back to him. Hancock walking a little, a little bit from the hash mark. Let's go and score! Hancock just put the Hammerheads within one goal. And the Terminator's got to be sweating now. They definitely have to be. And that's what I was saying. That two-goal lead is a scary lead to have in hockey. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hammerheads, they just scored a goal now. Like they're, They've got a taste. They've got the momentum. Look at that one. And that was a oh, very man. good goal. Like that one... AJ couldn't squeeze tight enough, but it managed to get through his elbow pit and side. Yeah, it was a really nice goal. It just burned AJ. What do you do if you're a goaltender in that one? Five to four. The Term Terminator's over the hammerhead so far with, I'm sure there's only about four minutes and change left to go in the third period. Yeah, the time's ticking away, and the Terminators have to be careful to make sure they hold on to this lead here. So they might have to play a little more aggressively. And here's Olsen. The Eagle has it. Nice little toe drag. Throws it towards the net off a slim tug, and then it bounces to the near side boards. It's collected up by Wellman there. He skates in, fires it over to Spare, Spare and takes oh, a shot. And guess wow. who is there? AJ. AJ makes the save of the game right here, keeping his team ahead by one goal with that big save, Simonson. I want to say glove save, but it looks like it kind of went off of the wrist. And uh, it's still, he kept the puck out of the net. That's all that matters if you're a Terminators fan. If you're a Hammerheads fan, you wish that they scored. Uh, McCall played that puck over to the near side boards. Up and out of play. As you can see, the fans down there are just on the edge of their seats right now. They can't believe what is happening. Uh, the cat has that puck. Tries to throw it out right. Right to Yanni. It's robbed by the pad of McCall. Picked up by number four, Ports. Ports fires it up. Held in by the glove of the cat who feeds it over to Olsen. The eagle on the far side curling around. Little button hook there by the eagle. 
Eagle throws it over the near side right to Dust Van Dennis who winds up. That puck was on edge, so he didn't get all of it. Uh, the Hammerhead's going to collect it. Number 10, Wellman feeds it all the way up, and Dust Van Dennis is back there to collect. Yeah, there we go. And Terminator still holding on to this uh, one goal lead at the score of 5-4 to four as they work it out. And Olsen has the puck, and he just gracefully goes through everybody so easily with the sauce oh, over to Big Ben. Oh, and my goodness. The task. That save was phenomenal, Simonson. Look at this nice saucy pass from the Eagle. Big Ben got all of it, but McCall wasn't having any of it. No, he was not. Definitely not. Wow, and that was an excellent play by the Terminators. And it looks like they're not giving up yet here. But neither are the Hammerheads as they come back the oh, other way. Oh, what a hit. Yeah, that was Ports on. I don't know which Terminator it was, but nonetheless, the puck play goes on. And here's Big Papa Pope. Takes the puck and tries to turn it backwards, but then he loses it to number seven, Bruce, and fires one right on the crest of AJ with four minutes, 23 seconds remaining. Yeah, there's some rough stuff going on here with Big Keith and the uh, Hammerheads player right in front, Simon. So I don't know if you've seen that, but... Uh, I've seen none of it until well, now. There it is, right there. It was a little out of frame, uh, but luckily we got to see it. And slowed it down, and uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, a lot of play out time. Yeah, you know, and uh, they, like they're they're just the refs officials. They're doing a great job of getting in there, separating the boys. There we go, because it's a heated match. It's a five to four score with time ticking down in the third period. There's a lot of emotion flying right now, as we've seen a lot of the players on. Like, both teams have been very feisty. Very. So something's in the water. Yeah, uh, something is for sure. It looks like Big Keith is getting kicked out for that. Uh, I think that's the right call for the refs. Uh, I mean, it is what it is, Simonson. This definitely. Here we are. Point shot from the Hammerheads. And it is saved by AJ, making it look like clockwork. Here we are. Face off win by the Terminators. Tr clearing attempt, and they managed to get it out of their zone. And it is almost picked up by Eagle as Slim gets in there. There's Ooh. Brock acting hard because he is. And that's what happens when you hit a hard object. You fall down. That's so right. As uh, Wood goes to collect it for the Hammerheads, you can see the goalie McCall rushing out of his net so they get the extra attacker. Spare has that puck. Spare gets checked by Olsen the Eagle. And uh, I and guess it's pass. a hand pass. There you go. And it wasn't in their own zone. So we're going to run it back from the beginning. There's just a little hit. Brock stood him up. We just wanted to showcase that. Bird hang. Uh, there was no nesting involved right there. Yeah, Brock the... Rock. Oh, and he got a penalty for that. That's why they blew it down. It was a hand pass, but also a penalty. Not what the Terminators needed to do uh, with, you know, two minutes left in the goal or whatever. As Spare has that puck. Spare has a shot. AJ makes a save. Puck goes all the way out of the Terminator zone. Here we are all the way back to McCall. He's got the puck, and he dishes it off to his player, number 71, Hancock, who's starting the advance out of his own zone into the Terminators, hoping for the luscious luscious goal that they need. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Simonson. They're trying right now as Big Ben chases after that puck on the near side boards for the Terminators. Big Ben has a shot in the neutral zone. A shot isn't trying to give that Olsen a shot, but the puck bounces all the way into the hammerhead zone on the near side. Ports has it. Ports fires it up to... Uh, uh, Hammerhead's player who gets checked by the Eagle, number 77, Colgan. Eagle is, Colgan's no match for the Eagle. Uh, he's like Crest to Colgate, Simonson. There's no match there. Pick a side and stick with it. Big Ben behind the net of AJ going for a skate. Big Ben on the breakout fires it out. Oh, held in by Ports. Ports turns it around, has a shot. Big Ben sacrificing the body after giving up that puck. Pope back there with a minute and 40 seconds left to go in this hockey game. 77, uh, Colgan trying to figure it out. Yanni get away with it in the neutral zone with that red bucket. Yanni gains his own in the Hammerheads. Uh, curling on the far side. Feeds it right out front. And the Eagle got robbed by McCall. Oh, wow. That was a massive save there. So Yanni has it with a beautiful pass over oh, to Eagle. Wow. Fires that one and right up in the armpit. Almost made its way through. There was a little bit of daylight, but McCall has all over that one like a fat kid on a donut. Dust pad rocked one of his own players. I think that might have been Slim Tug as Ports fires that puck out of his zone. Uh, deep into the Terminator zone. I don't know if there's going to be an icing. It doesn't matter because Pope chased after it. Looks like he got him on the butt end of the maybe his elbow. Either way, a big battle down low on the near side. Right in the corner right there. Uh, scramble. Brock's in there to help out. Brock chips that puck over to the far side in the corner. Still going to collect it. Stop short. Has a look. Uses the glass to try to fire it out, but it's held in by the Hammerheads who throw it way high and wide. 21. Dufar Ario going to collect it on the 
Pope is just chucking bodies in front of the net. Yeah, well, he's he's doing his job. He's clearing the net. He There's no time for failure right here, right now. Every little mistake could affect you. Look at the hard work ethic that Pope is putting oh. in to get that puck down there. And now it's not icing because he was over the red line, but that is the expiration of the period and five to four for the Terminators over the Hammerhead. What a close game, Simonson. This one was thrilling. I I had no idea what was going to happen. Uh, I mean, this is live. You never know what's going to happen in a live hockey game. You have to wait to see how it unfolds. The Terminators just edged this one over the Hammerheads in a very, very close game. Karin being the star for the Hammerheads. Definitely he gets my first star for that team. Get two goals on the night as well as Hancock and Spare and I'm going to give this uh, first start to uh, Dennis on uh, the Terminators we're going to have to start picking stars we are going to have to thank you and good night from Planet Ice Delta